I'm using one of those read through the Bible in a year for my devotions this year, and I ran across a day or two ago one of my favorite verses, and I just felt like today may be the time to share this because someone may be needing it. In the chaotic world we're in, there may be someone listening right now that does not think they can ever have peace again in their life. God tells us you can. And I want to read a portion of this. Basically, I'd like you to go back and read it. It's in Philippians. It's the fourth chapter, verses 4 through 9. And basically, Paul's telling us a few things to do. First of all, he says, be full of joy and rejoice. You might be thinking, oh, easy for you to say, you don't know what's going on in my life. How can I have joy? How can I rejoice in my situation where Paul responds this way. He says, well, it's real simple. The Lord's coming back. No matter what you're going through today, stop and think about the Lord is coming back for you and the reward of heaven that's ahead of you. Then the second thing he says is don't worry. There again, you're going, oh, easy for you to say. Well, he gives us three instructions on how not to worry. Here's what he says to do. He says, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he's done. If you'll do those three things, the Bible tells us you will have peace and it will guard your heart and it will guard your mind. That peace that passes all understanding we can have that guard our minds so we don't have to worry. Then he gives us another helpful hint on the things to think about that will help us control our thoughts. He tells us to think about these things. If it's true, if it's honorable, if it's right, if it's pure, if it's lovely, admirable, excellent, or if it's worthy of praise, Think on those things. And then here's what happens. The God of peace will be with you. So if you need that peace today, don't think it's out of reach. Don't think you'll never have it again. Begin doing what God's word says. Realize that the Lord's coming back. Pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank him for what he's done. Control your thoughts. Hey, God bless. I hope that ministered to you and encouraged you. I pray for you today that you will have peace. Thank you for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.